bed. Huh? She, she's not in her bedroom. What? Say she's not in her bedroom. Oh, she must be. Be like that. It's only seven o'clock already. I'm a liar. <laughs> <laughs> she's not in her bedroom. That's what I said. And, and her clothes aren't there. Oh, you know, well, she went off all by herself. She's... Her clothes aren't there. No, I'm going to try to catch her, her, my poor baby. Well, honey, well, she wouldn't do it. <laughs> What do you want to do that? You scared your mother half to death. Honey, why did you have to get up so early? You could have stayed in bed. Mommy would have awakened you, for goodness sake. What's all the commotion? Linda woke up all by herself. <laughs> well, how about that? <laughs> you make me proud to be your brother. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Mommy. What would my big girl like for breakfast this morning? We must have a nourishing breakfast in our tummy for our first day of school. It has to keep you until the milk break. How about a big bowl of cereal? Hmm? I'm not hungry. Oh, darling, why not? You, 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 you're nervous. That's it. It's first day jitters. You're nervous. Oh, my poor baby. Aren't you? No. Well, then why can't you eat some breakfast? Because I already did. <laughs> you did? Yeah, now. And I dressed myself, and I made my bed, and I washed the dishes. Oh, Linda, you didn't have to do all that. Mommy would have done those things for you. Well, you can't treat me like a child forever, you know. <laughs> what? I'm a schoolgirl now. Oh, honey, but this is just your first day. You don't have to be in such a hurry to grow up. I'm not in a hurry. Oh, well, thank goodness for that. I don't care if it takes all week. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Rusty, there's plenty of time. It's early. Don't eat so fast, you'll be sick. That'll be a break. Then I wouldn't have to go to school. <laughs> the fact is that I thought you liked school. I don't mind school, but I'll bet with my kind of luck that that girl will be in my class again. What girl? Pain in the neck Watkins. That's what girl. Pain in the neck Watkins? Yeah. What an interesting name. What did she have to do to acquire it? She didn't have to do anything but exist. Oh. <laughs> well, she gets on my nerves. Come on, kid, let's go take our beating. <laughs> you mean beating? Don't discourage her. I want her to like school. Oh, yeah, th there's lots of things to like about school. I bet there is. Recess, lunch, and holidays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Uh, come back, honey. Let's see. There. That's better. Okay, come on, Linda. Bye. Uh, wait, honey. Uh, come here a minute, darling. Uh, um, have you got a handkerchief? Honey, they're gonna be late, sweetheart. Oh, I know, darling, but it's her first day. For heaven's <laughs> sake, she went almost a year to nursery school. Oh, this is different. This is big school. Don't you know it means my, my baby's growing up? Well, look at it this way, honey. You're not losing your daughter. You're gaining a report card. <laughs> Time for jokes. Mommy, I'll be late. Come on, Linda. Right, baby. Bye, Mommy. Away. Oh, oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> Back here a minute. You almost made it. <laughs> you take good care of her, you understand? Okay. And be very careful crossing the streets. Yeah. Uh, watch to the right and to the left. Yeah. And wait for the guard at the crossing to blow his whistle. Remember. Kathy, do you want me to send you a telegram? Live safely across street, letter follows. I'll see you here, young man. Bye. Bye, Mommy. Oh, honey, now you're being silly. Well, she's just a baby. She's going to school, not to the army. What are you. <laughs> Tell me you. <laughs> what a reception. I'm underwhelmed. Oh, sorry, darling, but it's 20 minutes after three. So? Linda isn't home yet. Rusty came home without her? No, he isn't home either. So they're not home together. What are you worried about? Oh, darling, they should have been home five minutes ago. How long does it take to walk two blocks? She's just a little girl. She takes small steps. <laughs> she's a slow walker, and you know she's got to step on every crack. <laughs> If she misses a crack, she's got to go back and get it. You know how kids are. 
What are you worried about? What can happen to her in broad daylight in a well-policed city? What are you worried about? I don't about? know. Lots of things. Anything. Read any newspaper. Oh, come on. Stop oh. worrying, will you? Yeah. Oh, my darling. Oh, oh, for God's sake. She <laughs> just got back from her first day in school, for heaven's sake. What's the matter with you? Who are you? I'm She's a... my new best friend, Sylvia. She brought me home. Oh, oh hello, that's a... Sylvia. Very nice of you, Sylvia. Well, we older girls are supposed to look after the younger ones. Well, isn't that nice? Where's Rusty? How come he didn't walk his sister home? Oh, well, uh, he'll be along soon. You know how boys are. <laughs> <laughs> You're starved, honey. Well, there's some cookies in the milk all ready for you in the kitchen. Okay. And you can give some to Sylvia, too. Okay. Come on, Sylvia. There, see, everything is fine. You know, your mothers kill me. When the day comes and you've got nothing to worry about, you're going to be in trouble. Worrying is a mother's privilege. Is that so? Well, you don't have to worry anymore. How about that kid, huh? First day in school, got herself a new best friend. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, mm -hmm. Mommy. Our children have really grown up. No problems. Oh, oh, oh rock, rock. I say no problem. <laughs> Russell? Rusty, what kind of way is that to come into the house? You sound like Donald Duck. What's wrong? You name it. Something happened in school? Something, everything. That, that girl. I might as well cut my throat. What girl? The Watkins girl. Who else? Huh? Well, last term it was bad enough, but at least she sat on the other side of the room. Huh? Now she's sitting right in front of me. Oh, I'm gonna get in trouble. What do you mean? What kind of trouble? Big trouble. <laughs> you have to get in trouble. It's a must, right? <laughs> what else can I do? She's asking for it. Tell her no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't. I'm trapped. What kind of trap? What are you talking about? Well, she's got this long blonde ponytail. And where does she have to hang it? Over my desk. <laughs> And from ponytails comes trouble? Like rain from the sky. <laughs> Sooner or later, what happens? Stands to reason I'm gonna pull it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else you can do about it. Huh? Sure, I can dip it in my inkwell. <laughs> well, there, you see? That's right, laugh. Go ahead and laugh, but you'll stop laughing when I'm called into the principal's office and... No. No! <laughs> Rusty Williams, you come out of here this minute. We have a guest. Come out and say hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry about this, dear. You'll have to forgive our son. He's usually not so rude. Oh, I know. He's really very nice. Oh, you know him? Oh, yes. I know him. He just doesn't know me. I sit right in front of him in class, but he never notices me. <laughs> He notices you, all right. He does? Oh, yeah. You sure? Oh, you could take my word for it, Sylvia. Do you think he's going to stay in his room? Well, well, the way it looks right now, it's quite possible. Yes. Oh, then I guess I might as well go home. <laughs> Goodbye, Rusty. Good luck in the spelling bee tomorrow. Who needs luck? I'm the best speller in the class. Oh, I know. You'll win for sure. If it weren't for you, I'd be the winner. Well, you won't be. It's not that I want the prize. Who needs another leaky old fountain pen? <laughs> I like clobbering you, that's all. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See what I mean? Frankly, no. All I saw was an ill-mannered young man who was very rude to a nice little girl who had just been considerate enough to walk his sister home from school. Oh, yeah, yeah, Charlie, about that. How come you didn't walk your sister home? I was gonna when she moved in. And I wouldn't be caught dead walking with her. You're acting pretty silly, you know. What have you got against that girl, besides your ponytail? You just, you don't know. You just don't know. What? First day in school, and already she's in charge of pass the papers and no talking everybody. Oh. And 
her hand. Even before the teacher finishes a question, up it goes. Wham! <laughs> well, why don't you wham and beat her to it? Don't show off. Besides, who knows the answers? <laughs> you better simmer down a little, young man. What? With her around? Oh, she kills me. She's got to be first in everything. History, geography, arithmetic, and now spelling. Well, she's not going to be, because that's one place I've got her. I can outspell her any time, and she knows it. I can't understand that kid. He's usually so good-natured. I didn't think he had the capacity to dislike anyone that much. He doesn't dislike her, not one little bit. Well, but sweetheart, he's not exactly singing love songs to her. Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Come again? Oh, honey, I don't expect you to understand. Only a woman would. Even Rusty doesn't know what's happening to him. That's why he's so confused. I don't think he's a bit confused. He knows what he wants to do. He wants to pull her hair. <laughs> he's just a 100% normal young ponytail ink dipper. That's all. <laughs> Look behind me pulls my hair. You see that? Happens to everybody. Next time he pulls your hair, honey, you tell the teacher. would understand. Understand what? Why he wants to pull her hair. Okay, Linda understands and you understand. Now, would you let me understand? Honey, it's obvious. Puppy love. Oh, I see. When a boy treats a girl like a dog, that's puppy love. <laughs> Honey, I know it sounds confusing. Oh, no, not at all. It's quite clear. I suppose if he smacks her in the mouth, that's a proposal of marriage. <laughs> Let me explain it all to you. Hmm? Thanks, I'd like you here. Up until a certain age, mm. little boys are convinced that only sissies like little girls. Then all of a sudden, the little woman haters discover that they're attracted to the very creatures they've been ignoring. Mm. So, they fight the idea, they fight the girl, they fight the feeling. Simple? What feeling? Puppy love. Oh, puppy love my foot. He just resents a smart alecky female. That's all even full-grown men resent them. Men? You mean older little boys, don't you? But I, I, I hate it when you're so smart. You're so sure of yourself. Well, let me tell you something, Clancy. If Rusty's acting the way he's acting, because he's got a crush on that girl, I'll, I'll, I'll eat my necktie. <laughs> Good appetite. Oh, stop. Oh, cut that out. <laughs> Business. B U S I N E S S. Business. Good. Next word. Uh, the next word is symmetrical. S Y M M E T R I C A L. <laughs> Two M's in symmetrical? That's what I said. And you're supposed to be the spelling champ? Daddy, I cannot tell a lie. I am. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, let me ask you something, champ. If there's one M in the word metrical, how come two M's in symmetrical? Because the prefix sim has one M, while the M in metrical is the other. <laughs> See? Oh, yeah. I forgot about the prefix sim. <laughs> I don't know how I ever overlooked that sim as one of my favorite prefixes. Well, if there's anything I know, it's how to spell. I know how to spell, too. You do? Yeah, T-O, too. Very <laughs> This kid, he's gonna be a whiz at spelling. Oh, sure is. Kathy, mm -hmm. there are one or two M's in symmetrical. Symmetrical? Uh huh. Oh, you see him. Um, yeah, you don't have to see. Go ahead, champ. Oh, come on. No, you come on. Symmetrical. S Y M M E T R I C A L. Symmetrical. Two M's. Very good, Rusty. Oh, he's clever. Off school. Come on, you two. But Sylvia isn't here yet. What's the matter? Doesn't she trust me to get you there safely? <laughs> She'd have a measles or something, so she wouldn't have to go to school today. What? Well, you know, I almost hate myself for what I'm going to do to her. What are you going to do to her? Beat her ever-loving brains out in the spelling bee. Ha <laughs> ha. Can I come in? Oh, of course, Sylvia. Come in. I just wanted to say good morning to you. Good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Rusty. Not for you, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to get your brains beat out? Oh, Rusty.
Rusty, stop being so cocky. Oh, he's got a perfect right. Stay off my side. I mean, everybody knows you're the best speller in the class, and there's nobody I'd rather lose to than you. Ready? I don't need any Indian guide. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Rusty. <laughs> You were very rude. Oh, she makes me so mad. Why? Because she believes in good sportsmanship? Making like she doesn't care. Oh, she cares all right. She cares a lot. Only she won't give me the satisfaction of showing it. Well, I'll show her. <laughs> Why, he certainly loves that little girl. <laughs> Still on that kick. Oh, darling. It's as, it's just as plain as the nose on your oh well. <laughs> well it's, it's quite plain. Quite plain my foot. If Rusty's got a crush on that kid, I'll eat my hat. Oh no, your necktie, darling, remember? Oh, come on. Get off it. Will you heard what he said? All right, darling, have it your way. All right, Kathy, be reasonable. Think for a minute. Remember when I was courting you? Mm -hmm. Remember I used to bring you roses, remember? Mm, and candy. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, uh, just think back. Once, every once, did you ever find any poison ivy in the roses? <laughs> uh, did I ever put any ground glass in the candy? Uh, and, and when I made a date with you, did I ever once slap your hello or kick your goodbye? <laughs> oh, don't struggle so. In spite of what they say on television, it's really mother who knows best. Daddy, what do you mean? I love you. I love you too. I do. Darling, your feet. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> you got two of them? <laughs> hello, darling. Matter, no hello? Hello. What's a fine hello? Here, here. Put that somewhere. <laughs> Kids get a little too much temperament for his age. I gotta have a talk with him. Hello, Mommy. Oh. Hello, Mommy. Hello, darling. Hello, Sylvia. Hello, Mrs. Williams. <laughs> mommy, I'm hungry. Well, naturally. There's milk and cookies in the kitchen. Okay. Help yourself. I hope you don't think I come here just for milk and cookies. Oh, of course not, dear. He's in his room having a heart-to-heart -heart talk with his father. <laughs> Something? Nothing. <laughs> well? Kids, they burn you up when they won't talk. I tell you, you know, when they're babies and they can't talk, Something's wrong, they cry. So you burp them. At least you get some kind of answer. <laughs> when they can talk and won't. Oh, boy, that burns me up. Hello, Mr. Williams. Oh, hello, Sylvia. Did Rusty come out? Uh, no, dear, no. He's oh. still in his room. What's he doing? He's not talking. <laughs> then I guess I might as well go home. Tell him that, I, tell him that I'm sorry that he lost his spelling bee. <laughs> he lost? So I lost! So I'm illiterate! So you're a genius! So you what? So good and good for your side! Big deal! <laughs> you lost! So that's what the big beef is, huh? Who's beefing? 
I didn't say a word. Anyway, what's so great about winning a spelling bee? Yeah, I couldn't care less. Me either. I'd rather be good at baseball any day, football, something like that. Yeah? Well, you gotta be practical. After all, you're only a girl. Is that my fault? Well, no. Nobody can blame you for that. Some girls are lucky. They have brothers to teach them how to throw a football and kick it and everything. Well, maybe one of these days I can give you a couple of pointers. You know, when I'm not too busy and don't have anything else to do. <laughs> I'd rather be taught by you than anybody. You're so good at sports. I don't know. I'm about average. No, you're not. I've watched you. You're way better than the other boys. I am? Sure. All the girls say so. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just so happens I've got a little time right now. I might give you a couple of pointers. You will? Yeah, but not in the park. You know how the guys are. Oh, sure. I wouldn't want them to make fun of you on account of a little old girl. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Here, catch. You've got a lot to learn. I'll get a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> it must be kind of hard for a little girl like you to learn to play football, isn't it? Oh, not really, but there's a few things you have to remember. Like when you're gonna punt, you hold it so the laces are up. And if you're gonna throw a pass, you hold it with your fingertips right on the laces, so when you throw it, it'll spiral. <laughs> I'm watching a lot of football on television. I figured something like that. <laughs> even hold a ball? Look, there's certain ways of holding it. When you're gonna punt, hold it like this, with the laces up. And when you're gonna throw a pass, hold your fingertips on the laces so when you throw it, it spirals. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oi. Just as a point of information, what was the word you missed in the spelling bee? The word up. Uh, I forgot. It was symmetrical. Yeah, oh. yeah, symmetrical. That's impossible. He knew symmetrical, but he knew his own name. He couldn't have missed it. Unless he did it on... You think... <laughs> All right, come on. I stop fooling around. All right, come on, Kathy. That, come on, that's a real good tie. It's Italian silk. Well, come on in the kitchen, honey. I'll put some meat sauce All on right, it. All right, Kathy. Hey. What's wrong with you? I don't understand women, Daddy. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> when I pulled Sylvia's hair and treated her mean, she ran after me all the time, and every day she took me down to the malt shop to split a soda with her. And then just like that, I lose her. How do you know you lost her? Well, today I walked into the malt shop and there was another guy at the end of my straw. 